everyone, this is Jazawan again, and I'm here to give you my top three tips for how to be a more persuasive person. It's uh, quarter past seven here now, just had a long day of meetings and I thought I'd get this quick video out for you guys. Now, being a pers persuasive person, we all know it's a very important attribute to have as an entrepreneur, but it's clear that not a lot of people are very good at it. And it's because it takes a lot of time. It's not something you can learn overnight. It's something you need to own and really build that skill. Um, but I'm gonna give you my top three tips and hopefully they'll help you become more of a persuasive person, particularly in your business lifestyle. But why not in your personal lifestyle as well? So my first tip, and it's, and I've touched upon this in my, in my other video, uh, entrepreneurs are they born or made? Steve, why don't you just link that up as well? Now, you need to show a level of empathy. When you're, when you're dealing with someone, when you're working with another human being, you need to think in their shoes and not your own. Think about their needs and not your own. So if, for example, I'm selling this mobile phone, I'm selling this mobile phone to somebody. Now, to me, it doesn't matter if it can run, you know, 100 million apps and the best games and it's got a 100 megapixel camera, if, my, if the potential client is somebody who uses no camera, who doesn't play any games, and he just wants a long battery life with great phone audio. So don't start selling the product, but find out what is it that your potential customer or person wants or needs, and then you'll be more inclined to be persuasive and be able to use the, the facts and the figures which relate to what you need to get across. My second point would be to be appreciative of conflicting opinions. Now, what I mean by that is not everybody will have the same opinion as you, and you need to just accept that. But when it does happen that somebody has another opinion than you, don't just go head on and try to bash their idea. Because if you do so, it's just gonna work against you. They're now gonna be you know, switched off, they're gonna be in defensive mode, and you're far less inclined to be, per to be persuasive towards them. You, you have no chance, right? Once someone's defensive, you haven't got a chance of being persuasive. Either. You might as well give up and walk away, okay? So if, if, if someone has a conflicting opinion, agree with it, find out why it conflicts, why it's a conflicting opinion, why is that important to them, and then maybe you can use that later on as a strength for you when you find out that your product can tackle some of their reservations. And my third and final tip is to be appreciative more than you criticize. Appreciation always trumps criticism. Just think about your own lifestyle. If, if maybe you had a parent that would always criticize you and then you had a parent that would always appreciate you, how would you feel and how would that make you feel? Um, because, you know, it's obvious. When somebody feels criticized, they're gonna simply work and do things to try and justify themselves. And that's not a great position to be in. You want people to work in a passionate, engaged manner because that's when their best creativity and level of, levels of work will come out. So try to nurture that environment, be appreciative, but of course, let's, let's not go down flattery. Flattery gets you nowhere and it'll, it'll be thrown straight back in your face. So what you need to do is you need to show true, genuine, sincere appreciation. When you do so, you'll find your employees or your teams or the relationships you have will be a lot deeper, a lot more meaningful, and therefore you'll be in a more position to be persuasive. So that's it guys, those are my top three tips for how you can become a more persuasive person. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That'll be very helpful. And of course, share it with any friends or family.